improved link between the uh, materials found in the splitter window and the appropriate faces that are using those materials okay so let's go ahead and take a quick look here I'm going to do a verify entity on this uh, face right here you'll see that its attribute for material name is CNC and those are the RGB colors assigned to that uh, uh, material I also use that same um, name over here on this particular piece of tooling also called CNC so to show that link let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and edit this particular CNC I'm gonna go ahead and let's say change the name we're gonna call it uh, milling and I might also want to change the color let's go with the uh, bright green and say OK now you get the prompt this is what we saw on the slide what do you, do you want this new material the material that was just edited and that used the previous settings to apply these new settings you say yes and now you see that all that has changed including the name it's now called milling instead of CNC you can also use these color attributes material attributes for selection so for example here I have a uh, something in here where I call it standard bore sizes again this is standard tooling that may be the standard in your company uh, for certain size counter bores or certain size pin holes or maybe to help identify tapped holes you can set up different color schemes obviously we have it set up for uh, mold work here as well and so what I can do now is I can go ahead and filter on those particular settings let's go ahead and do a remove feature all displayed by type and you can see anywhere there's a materials pull down list the uh, materials now has a preview of that particular color and also has the name so let's go ahead and remove all my standard counter bore sizes I'm gonna remove the wire EDM and I'm also just going to remove something called parting line because I know that's going across the other uh, geometry. I'm going to say OK. And you'll see how it highlighted those particular faces. These blends here are the uh, parting line faces on the block and the sheet body. And I can go ahead and do a remove. Another thing we've done was to handle transparency uh, better. Uh, in the past, we did not have this option. All right. So in the past, this was hard coded to be uh, on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off here. Say yes. So now, if I come over to this example here, I'm going to go ahead and do a verify uh, on this face you'll see that face has a material property called default right which is in this list well, I'm gonna go ahead now and apply that to a face I'm gonna take the transparency and apply it to here and yes I can see inside the block but if I go verify that that material name has taken on this transparency name and it may have taken on any of the uh, attributes associated with it and that's not what I want let's go ahead and cancel and undo this the idea behind this switch is this is just a temporary visual effect I just want to see inside the part I don't want to change the materials and so that's what the apply material name now does when that is unchecked yes there are no other transparencies I do the same thing and apply it you can see inside my part verify that 
and that maintained the default color name that was there and that no longer has any of the transparencies uh, names. So we've done that in cases where you want to just temporarily change something for visual effects or to highlight and that also applies to things here to create either create a new material or to apply a new name. Those will also be there. 